Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's review time, and today we are taking a look at the Thundercats Classics, Pumaira from Mattel, another of the uh, Thundercat, um, blah, blah, sorry, Thundercats Classics figures, uh, so yeah, it's a nice one. I think, like many, I would have preferred Chitara over Pumaira for the... Um, Initial four, especially since those are the only four that exist. Well, five, six, seven, depending on if you include Mamra and uh, the kittens. But uh, yeah, I probably would have preferred Chitara as well, although Pumaira is nice. It... So yeah, let's get a good look. Um, all in all, starting from her toes, it has it. I mean the feet look good, the boots are well done, I like the gold on the, like the little gold bits at the end. Paints, okay, could be better, it's a little splotchy in areas. Um, the dress looks good, I like the golden armband, um, and of course the way they did the uh, two-tone at the hands is pretty cool. Thundercats logo is very crisp on the uh, chest and then uh, this is where everything falls apart for poor Pumara the face is not the best I mean, it looks like one of the like one eye has a little bit more of a thicker black outline than the other and the eyes oops, if I could get it to focus proper she has a little bit of a wall-eyed look. Um, yeah, so the eyes could have been a little bit better. Hair's okay for the most part, at least from the front. Um, it does look like the paint kind of went thin in some areas. But uh, my problem actually is in the back. Yeah, I got that really nasty little uh, spot where it's unpainted. Now I'm probably going to just go over that with some uh, brown paint, see if I can match the color and give it a little black wash to uh, better mask it. But uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, to say the least. Other than that, I think she turned out well. Um, at least as far as looks go, uh, there is one more flaw. And that is that she is very tall and um, I think she was supposed to be a little shorter in the series unless you look at the uh, modern series where they kind of had her more Amazon like but uh, yeah she's a bit of a tall lady standing taller than Lionel I mean she's pretty much the tallest figure in the line I mean, I don't know. Uh, she might have, yeah, she's a little taller than Jackalman, too, so. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, and it's not just the uh, Thundercats figures that she's taller than. Um, we bring in She Ra um, with the uh, Masters uh, female figures uh, starting out a little bit taller than they should have been. She's even taller than She Ra. So, yeah. She's a very tall lady. I think I think that was more like a, someone got the character studies a little off than anything else. So let's get a look at her articulation. So she's got a ball jointed head. Um, pretty good. Emotive. Got a little look up and down. Definitely go left and right. Um, Universal shoulders, bicep swivel, well hidden by the bracer, which is cool, or the armband, whatever you want to call it. 90 at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and now hinge at the wrist, pretty good. Um, no ab crunch, unfortunately, but she does have the uh, waist swivel. 
She does have universal hips, although the skirt and the pouch that would be right over where that cut would be, it kind of hinders it. So this one is a little more hindered than this one. Just strained, but she does have a thigh swivel. 90 at the knee, usual ankle, forward back, and a bit of a pivot. So plenty of articulation there. If just a little hindered by her outfit, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, accessories, um, she does have alternate hands. Um, like she does have a holding hand, holding things hand for this side. And a fist uh, for this side here. Which, uh, you know, you just pull out and pop in. I mean, these ones work a lot better than Mumra's did. So if you want her unarmed and just ready to fight, you can pose her like so. And that works. But she does have weapons. Like, first of all, she does have this, like, boomerang blade thing. Which she can hold. Fits in that hand very well. You can take the belt off. And... It, if you do, you got an accessory where the belt becomes a, a bola weapon, like a slingshot weapon. And you can have her ready to fight. And it looks like she has some of the kitten's uh, smoke pellets in there too. Or bombs or whatever they are. <laughs> so she has that and you can pose her like this. Works fine too, and honestly, that works. And then she has this other accessory, which I just looked up um, almost immediately before uh, recording. I checked Pixel Dan's videos, but it's called the Totem of Dara. That's about all I know about it. One of the artifacts from the series. Uh, interesting. Paint's a little splotchy at that blue, but uh, other than that, not bad. And I, I think it is a very solid plastic. Um, the bottom part is thin, that's why it's a little more flexible. But yeah, she can hold that as well. And, you know, fits in, his, fits in her hand quite nicely. Now, I might have just got a bad version with the head, but uh, other than that, it's a cool figure. Do like it. She works out well. I just wish we had the other Thundercats to go with her. So, here's hoping that Super 7 does get the license and can finish the team off. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. So until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>